Hello and welcome to the NUFC Opinion Blog. Welcome back to the NUFC Opinion Blog. It's certainly been a little while. I'm joined with Dylan here today and today we're going to do a tier list of all Newcastle's home kits in the Premier League era. Of course, there'll be a couple of uh, kits that were used in the Championship in this time as well. But regardless, we're going to press on because there's some good kits we've got here. Of course, one of them is appearing behind Dylan right now, which, well, I've, we'll got, a feeling that, I've got a feeling where I want to put that one. But <laughs> We'll, we'll we'll crack straight on. So we'll, I think we'll probably just go in chronological order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start from, yeah. From, from the from the best of the worst. I mean, the start to, to yeah. Finish. So we've got this <laughs> the first kit, which was from ninety three and ninety five. So I'll hover it up in the middle there. And so that was, as I say, ninety three and ninety five. It was one for two seasons. Blue Star A six was the sponsor. It's a very I'd, good yeah, kit. There's no yeah. doubt in it. It's it's, 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 a, it's, it's a lovely thing. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in the top two categories. I mean, you just, the Blue Star is very iconic, and obviously we're going to come on to another iconic sponsor in a minute, but it doesn't get lower than Decent and Elite. And if we're, right, yeah. No, no, absolutely not. And if we're comparing them to how, and I don't want to look too far ahead, but if we're going to compare them to some of the other travesties Ooh, that we're yes, going to have coming rubbish. up, I definitely think it's a cut above the rest. And I'd probably argue elite to be honest with this I, well I, what I'm going to say right why don't we put it in decent for now and then if when we come mm. to it we think we, it should move up we can move it up I'm I'm alright with that I'm alright with that yeah we'll stick it in decent for now but as I say glorious glorious kit and now probably on to the most synonymous Newcastle kit most well known I should imagine which is the first brown ale shirt worn mm. between 1995 and 1997 of course two second place finishes in the Premier League it, for that reason alone it's elite isn't it it just it, it just you don't get more iconic Newcastle kits than that, really. I mean, there's, it, there's it, no it, argument. In that there's no all. argument there. It, it is at least it's 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 fantastic in every sense. Adidas's first proper Newcastle kit, and well, they were the days, <laughs> and the granddad collar as well. It's just oh, oh, I mean, just, just everything, just just everything about that kit. There's not a bad thing about the that. The right kit. amount of stripes isn't there. There's not too many, not too like few. It's just perfect. So yeah, I it could has, sit and look at that all day. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, saying that though, now coming on to my personal favourite Newcastle United kit of the Premier League era, which is the 97 to 99 kit, which is sat right behind Dylan right now. For me, this is elite mm. as well, because I love and I always will love a centre badge. I don't know what it is, but I love a centre badge. You know what? You're, you're absolutely spot on. I agree with everything you've just said. I think this is my favourite kit on the list. And yet, yeah, there is something about that middle. The middle badge, it just does something. I mean, even with England this year, the yeah, like the Euros, there's something about that middle badge. Even this as well, the second top I'm wearing middle badge. Yeah, it just it just looks so good. I just, I don't know what it is, and obviously the sponsor speaks for itself as well. So yeah, I mean, no doubt about it again, at least obviously. The, yeah, I mean, league performances in that kit, mid table, but two FA Cup finals were reaching that kit. So you've got to stick it in there for that. And yet the gold added that's writing as well. It's just... Oh yes, oh it's brilliant. And then the shield on the back as well. Like the, the and I mean, and, and you can't obviously really see it on the picture, but the, the embroidery of like the badges in the oh, stripes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, God, what, yeah, exactly. what a kid! And to be fair, right, this one which was used from a uh, ninety nine, two thousand, only one season because then they changed the sponsor. Yeah, it's glorious as well. It's another brown ale kit. I know. The only thing that attracts me a little bit, I'm not massively key on the blue. Yeah, yeah, no, no. The brown. blue does spoil it a bit, but I mean, it's, it's, it's still it, a it, great it's, it's, it's decent, isn't it? It's got to be decent, at least in my opinion. I, yeah, I don't think that top two are being touched. And I think it's an absolute toss-up between the decent ones if they could maybe jump up there. But yeah, I think you're right. I think the blue ruins it just a little bit, but still the same sponsor. I mean... Yeah, exactly. The sponsor is really, really doing those oh, kids a favour. Like, if you, if you imagine... Imagine Wonga or, you know, Fun 88 across those two kids. They, they definitely wouldn't be up there. So the sponsors are doing, doing great Fun 88 are good on social media, but their, their logo is crap. Oh, it's it's horrific. And as we'll get on to, obviously, to the newer kids, it just it seems to get bigger and bigger. Whereas oh, I know that the brown ale is not the not the smallest, but it, it, at least it's a good looking. But it, 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 because it's synonymous with the area as well, it's Newcastle. Oh, yeah, area, yeah. And it features the blue star in the middle of it as well, which would have a, it, it's just a brilliant. Yeah, yeah, and then this is pretty much this, which was worn from um, 2000 to 2001. Mm. It's pretty much the same. In fact, it's exactly the same, except it has NTL over brown ale. That's the only difference, the change sponsor. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I don't actually mind the NTL sponsor. I don't mind NTL either. I think it's a, it's a great looking sponsor. And it, it, this it's is... almost like an, 
like a little shortened down version of the word Newcastle, but it's like no. It's... I, I I didn't even think about that, but yeah, I guess. I mean, we're coming into this one and the next one as well. This is like when we were born, so you might have a baby picture or something in this kit, yeah. which might make it relevant to yourself. But it's, it's, this one's past between possible and decent because. I'm, I think that's decent, that kit. I think the, the NTL doesn't ruin it. I think it does fairly similar to the other ones in the decent category. Yeah, it doesn't have the, the brown hill, but no, I think that's a decent kit. And then this one, the 2001 to 2003, for me, this is elite, you know. Now, elite? It's, it's elite, elite. Just because of the Champions League memories in it. Now, I know we were mm. only very young and it's hard for us to remember, but watching the highlights back as we have in, in recent years, yeah, so we've played some fantastic matches in that kit, and I know normally I'm not a fan of like quite thick stripes. I mean, that's kit, I was gonna I'm... say, yeah, I don't think the NTL and the, the, the thicker stripes, Would you I don't say the think the previous NTL is a nicer looking one, in your opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the previous one, the, it's the stripes and the, the stripes on the sleeves as well. And the previous one, yeah, um, I, just, I, I think that was a, it, it, a bold it, it, one. <laughs> Fair, I get right? where you're coming from, the memories. Because, because you've argued that I'll, I'm going to put it in decent because, to be fair, mm. yeah, it's probably... It's, I think only the memories of it, of what would happen, then it would take it above that. But that can make some kits, to be fair. I mean, oh, it, you, you do have to factor that in. You've no, The three things you would normally factor are the colour, the design, and the memories because some players, as well as, obviously, the Champions League, can make a kit, but... Because that, that's synonymous with, like, Bellamy, Lauren, and, and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll agree with Decent. I don't know if it's as good as the last one, but if you want to, if you argue with them, we'll meet in the middle with that one. And then there's a couple of kids here where it's, there are, I think they're passable coming up, and then it starts to go downhill quite, <laughs> quite drastically. Well, let's not skip too far, Ed. Let's, uh, oh, let's it's, it's 2003 to 2005. Now, Northern Rock, this was their first year, and to be fair, it is still... Good. The blue it is. works. Yeah. The blue Northern Rock works, in my opinion. I agree. I agree. I don't think that's a bad kit at all. Um, I think it's decent, to be honest. Yeah. 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 It, it, probably, it's between passable and decent, isn't it? It's not. Yeah. It's but to be fair, though. It is quite similar to sort of the. Uh, it is. And the, the low. Uh, the, the, the the sponsor, the... It, is, it is similar to them, too. The sponsor's not even. In your face that much it's not that Northern, bad Northern Rock, and Northern Rock was always a decent sponsor I mean obviously well as a business deal it went <laughs> just a look at on the kid but no I'll, I'll, I'll agree as well. I think that's a decent I think kid I think, be, and I think the next are we, one more possible are we making these better because we support Newcastle because <laughs> I don't remember that kid being decent but it's it, it's it, it is exactly. that's yeah. the thing that's the thing well, uh, this is when I think the next one I think because mm. the stripes don't quite continue down like they curve in I'm not a fan of the gold yeah, either like, oh I quite like the gold but I think yeah I think this one the, the stripes are not as good so I think this one's it's not a meh I think it's passable my yeah it, it's a bit weird on the sides the kits yeah. and like I say I'm not a huge fan of the golden but I think, rock rock worse. I think that's why it's passable oh yeah I'll, I'll agree with passable because again this it's the sponsors that are going to ruin it later on but there is something yeah, about that kit not a bad sponsor well. yeah, yeah it's, it's not awful I don't mind that kit but it's, it's not no. in the categories of the ones above no and then this one so that was 2005 to 7 and then this one is was 2007 to 9 so we got relegated in this case in 2009. Yeah. But it was also the first kit that I remember owning as well. The first kit I remember owning was the one before the password. Yeah. I had. Uh, I, had I, I might have had the one before, but I don't remember owning I had my killer on the back of it. <sighs> oh, well, getting awful. <laughs> uh, no, the, the thing is, right, and I know we got relegated, but again, I don't think that's a bad kit. It's I think bad. it's, it's, and, it's and, somewhere and, behind and it. It's a centre badge, and you can't ever like look down on a centre badge. And too. the black Northern Rock as well, I, I really like that as well. Yes. Um, I think it's possible. I think that's it's possible. possible. I think yeah. the, the memories are maybe tarnishing that a little bit, but I think it's possible. Obviously, I mean, Kevin Keegan returned to manage the club for a brief spell in, in that kit so a little yeah, bit but, there, but not brilliant yeah. but right this championship kit which was added as the last is yeah. actually quite nice you know in my opinion and the only thing that lets it down is the back because I prefer it when the back the stripes keep going down the back and there's not a gap mm. well it's luckily great. Dan we can't see the back on the tier list That's so if we're good. just looking and at the front back. and to be I fair think... it's a centre barge yeah. and it's Northern Rock and honestly it looks good in my opinion 
I think it's doing a lot right. Yeah, I, I, I'd probably agree as well. I think that's a decent kit. I think it's decent, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I, I think so. I, I don't know what it is, but it's the Norman Rock, a good sponsor. A centre badge, an Adidas badge as well, and the stripes are the right amount of stripes. It's just a shame it was in the championship, to be honest, because yeah. if it wasn't, if there were better memories of that kit, it would probably may even be higher. But yeah, no, I definitely, I think it's a nice kit. Yeah, it's nice lovely. Kit. And now we get to the Puma era. It's, it hasn't got awful yet. Not it yet. It hasn't got awful yet. 2010 and 11. Yeah. So it's possible, in my opinion. 5-1 against Sunderland in that yeah. kit, yeah. 4-4 four, four against Arsenal. There's some good memories in it. And do you fair, yeah. the amount of strike. The only thing that sort of takes away from for me, I don't get why you put the the kit maker in the middle as the Puma like logo is in the, in the middle. And the badge that to the side. But didn't you say your favorite kit is the one with the Adidas logo in the middle? Yeah, well, that's the thing. But then, but then it's the fact that the well, yes, but it's, <laughs> I think it's the fact that because only it's only the kit maker in the middle. And I mean, the Puma, the Puma logo isn't exactly as nice as a golden Adidas no. wording. Um, I, think I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's awful. In my opinion, it's I think I think Puma have basically seen the previous couple of Newcastle kits and think, yeah, we'll just stick with that. Uh, but we'll obviously lose the Adidas trips. I think that's a possible kit. I mean, and like you said, there's some there were some decent games in that kit as well. So yes. Now we come to 11, 12. Now I remember when I first because they first wore this kit on the last day of the 10 11 season in a 3-3 three, three uh-huh. against West Brom. And I remember some blokes sat next to me saying, God, they look like referees, don't they? <laughs> 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 um, so, oh. we went on that one really, really good like the, the best season in the yeah, Roma League, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Denver Bar, Johan Kabay, I mean, Arthur, Cisse, all that lot. I mean, that for me, and obviously just watching that season, like the, the 3 0 win against my new Kabay's free kick, just yeah. in that kit. I mean, for me, and it, it's it's because uh, it's not an amazing kit, it's not no I, aesthetic wise, it's not. I think there are. Oh, well, there are better, and I think there are better Puma efforts than that. I, th- I think we're being a bit too nice on the previous ones. I'd probably say it's very close to decent, but probably the top possible. I yeah, think I'm going to agree with you on that. I don't want to go, I don't, I'm not a big fan of base. Well, I'm not a big fan, I don't really care, but I don't think about kits with the players, like the memories and stuff. I try and just look at it aesthetically, uh, just because it would I wear that kit really? I mean. And it's not like it's not retro enough to really embrace it, the Champions no, Leagues and no. the Alan Shearers and stuff. So You're it's right. a de- it's it, I was gonna say it's a decent kit when I see it's a possible one, but it's all right. It's, it's all right. right. As I, said, I think the memories put it where they do. I think yeah. They, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they yeah. Carry it. Now 12 13. Now the problem with this kit it had little sticky out pointy bits on all the black and white stripes. Um it's also got virgin money virgin across money. the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Dan. That is awful. That's awful. You think that's awful? That's awful. The virgin, the virgin money is awful. There's, the, the, there's not very many the stripes. Red and white as well. Oh god. I mean, yeah. I mean, it sticks out like a sore thumb. I mean, from where I'm sitting, I can just see red. <laughs> there's honestly, I, I don't really remember that because it's not, like the stripe ratio is okay. But if you're going to say awful, we'll stick it in awful. I mean, is the worst coming up? Possibly, but possibly you'd never possibly catch me in that kit. Never no. ever catch me in that kit. I think the next one is quite comfortably a meh of 13 14. Because, yeah, there's the not a lot going on. The red of Virgin Money, I know, but I know it's longer, but the blue is better. But it is a it's a big sponsor as well, it like it's it's, it's quite like it's quite in your face. You'd see Wonga before you'd see Newcastle. Yeah, I would probably agree, meh. It's Actually, meh. would I? If Actually, it, I don't know. It's certainly, I don't better, know. It's better than that one. Yes, but not by a lot. <laughs> not by a long way to beat no, Not yeah. by a lot. Uh, you know what, Dan? I'm, yeah. I'm, oh, <laughs> I really don't know. What, what do you think? It, we had a half decent, we came 10th in that kit, but the last like 10 or 12 games in it, that would have been like win moment in about ages. So. And it was when sort of Pardew was beginning to... I'm going to... I think I'll go meh. I think it's very standard Newcastle kit, but it could have been a lot better. Yeah. Now, the next one, I think is okay. The only thing that detracts from me is the, this this bit here. 
Well, see, the thing with that is because I think that bit is awful, and I think the kit's horrific. And I don't think it, it's you again. You'd never catch me in that kit, but they did try something new. So they, they did try and do something which I can appreciate a little bit because I mean it didn't work, but they did try. You're right. All I can remember, I can just Remy Cabella, so sorry, Emmanuel Riviere in that kit. That's all. Like really, nothing really sticks out about that kit. No, and, it was fourteen. I mean, obviously that was the season Gutierrez came back from cancer, so there's that. But I mean, yeah, I guess. But do you know what? I would argue meh because I can see what they've done. I can see what they've at least tried. They've tried they've tried yeah. to do something different. It hasn't paid off, but I mean. I mean, the, it's, the, it's the, lovely. Next one, the next one, I, honestly, I, I, this was this was our last relegation and there is far too much blue in it and the back was pretty much plain white. So as far uh, as I think, this one was awful for me. This is the first season I got a season ticket uh, as I got older. Um, so, you know, and obviously Rafa Benitez coming in, John Joe Shelby. Yes. Um, like, yeah, oh, that's great. You mentioned them both. <laughs> um, but we did get relegated so you know Steve McLaren again that makes me think that's so I, yeah I'm, I'm going to agree I think it's I think it's better than the blue yeah it, it's better than the one in awful but it is still awful yeah because they haven't they haven't done anything apart from take things away so I, that's awful for me yeah I think that yeah and then we have our kitten and championship mm. and the only thing that now for me what was good about this is that we came back to having stripes all the way down the back, which we hadn't done for a few years. Because as I mentioned before, I hate a plain back. Yeah, yeah. We have a striped kit. So that came back. The stripes are quite thick and the sponsor is overwhelming. It is very overwhelming. The gold, like the gold trimmings on the collar and on the sleeves, it's, I mean, it just screams championship to me, that kit. And obviously we were in the championship, which makes me think of that. But I don't think it's awful. I it's awful. I, I, don't... Think, I think it's meh. I think it's me. I just, I just, I just pictured Daryl Murphy in that kit, so that probably <laughs> makes it awful. But and and Gufran and Matt Ritchie and all yeah, those Gufran Newcastle was great legends. In the championship wasn't he too. was, he was, he was. I mean, he was, and Dwight Gale in that kit as well. Yeah. But it's yeah. another. You know, it just screams very championship to me. But I don't think it's awful. I think it's all right. It's and now meh. I'm going to say this is my favorite Puma effort coming up now, which was the 125th anniversary kit, which was used for the 2017-18 season. The only issue that. The design of it is fantastic. And, the f- and we're supposed to have the red number bringing back. But yeah. the funny, it let it down. Oh, yeah. I was just about to say, I thought you were going to put it in Elite or something by the way you were saying that. Yeah, no, the funny. Really, it's, it's passable it's, pushing decent. Well, if you, if you said it's the, the best Puma kit, then surely it's got to be above the other Puma kit that's in decent. I mean, no, it is good. It, it, it I, is. I, I, and the badge, to be fair, was fantastic that they designed for the. Oh, yeah, yeah. The badge, the badge is immense. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, again, Rafa Benitez, quite happier. Rafa's probably Maybe impressed. Yeah. Uh, to me, that's yeah. decent, in my opinion, just because of, as I say, red number return. And then the next one, yeah. it's quite similar. It's not that different. There is something different. What is what is different about that kit? Well, it's, it's, it's the implication of the stripes, I think, because if you look at the 1780 one, the black stripe is in down the middle, whereas this one's the white stripe down the middle. Yeah, that's what it is. I don't know. I, that, I mean, I think that's just passable. I don't think passable. there's anything spectacular. But it's I mean, it's just. Than, I think it's better than. All of these. Yeah, it's better than them, yeah. But it's, it's again... In our is good. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, but obviously the one before, it's in decent because of the badge. Yeah. Um, But apart from the badge going back to normal, there's nothing different. So I think yeah. it's just possible. It, it's I don't possible. think they really did anything. It's possible. Yeah. And now this one. Now the other... <sighs> no. What? This one coming up. 1920. Yeah. I thought you... Uh, do I like it? Stripes are too thick for me, in my opinion. But it is better than this year's effort. See, I think there's you've got either stripes that are spot on and they're, they're thin and they've got the right amount of number. You've got ones that are too thick, but there's still quite a few of them. Then you've got these ones that are so thick that you can't have too many. I don't think it actually is that bad. I quite like it. And obviously you've got the uh, centre badge. The centre badge. But what I didn't like about the centre badge is that it's not coloured. It was just like a black and white. It wasn't a proper Newcastle badge. That's... Mm. It's for me. It's between that and possible. Well, I think it's all right. So I would argue possible. I don't think it's well, so meh. I don't think it's with them kids. Well, to be fair, it was kind of the um, first cup in season nine, and they had the goal. yeah. Well, Willem scored some lovely yes. goals in that game. Possible. And I think honestly, I think this one's possible as well from last season. I mean, there's just there's nothing. 
Nothing you know, if, if you lined all them kits up to a neutral, it just went past. Apart from the one that we've just, apart from the one before, I mean, there's just this. There, there's nothing going on. I mean, the sleeves are black. The stripe ratio is quite good. It's it's not spectacular, but I think it's better than twenty three games without a win at one point in that kit. Well, As ridiculous. we know on this channel, we had a fair few things to say. <laughs> well, this is, well, this is our main. This is the debut of the. Yes. Rebirth of this yes. channel, yes. really. You're right. Um, but Joe Willick did have a, a very successful spell in that kit, whether you're playing the next one. That I, kit as well. I don't yeah. So I don't think I, it's too bad. It's it's possible, isn't it? It's okay. Yeah, it's it's just a bog stand Newcastle kit. And now the number four kit. Awful. We have left Castro. Sorry, we've awful. left Cuba and now we come to Castro. It's awful. It's awful. Sorry it's to hijack better. your because Castro, their away kit this season is actually decent. It's quite nice in my opinion. Uh, a black one. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, that's another video that's coming soon. But, <laughs> but this one, this one. If someone hadn't pointed out the number four, it would probably be a lot better. But now that I've seen it, I just I can't, can't even see your castle kit. Can't see it, can you? I can't even see any if if I know there's been a lot of pictures on Twitter about taking obviously the funny date off, and it looks all right because obviously the, oh, it looks. If you put a brownie looks, on that kit, it actually looks. It, it's between possible and decent. Oh, and Brown will probably make it elite. <laughs> elite code, code, no, but um, yeah, no, the, it, the four it, is just oh, it's. Just, oh, it's I'm gonna realize, Dan. I hate it. I think it's awful. Yeah, honestly, I was tempted to put it in there, but, but when you look at it, the, the it's not is, as nice as the kitten, man. Because right, we look at Met, there is no massive design flaws with them. How they haven't seen that. I, I know, know. No. So it's, for that for that design reason it's yeah you're right it's awful I mean we'd, uh, it's a bit unfair that we don't have really any memories in it at the moment to base it, it on well like, I'm not exactly looking forward to the season but if we won the league it would definitely go if we won the league it would go <laughs> but, but based on just I mean it's it's awful the, the, the design flaws just it's ruined the entire ship yeah no, it, yeah it, it has really is there any good. any readjustments you do looking at it now I mean, looking at it, the, obviously, the only ones that I possibly want to readjust, I think the first one from 93 to 95. Elite. It's pushing elite, isn't it? I would probably agree because I, I think it's a lot better than some of the kids we've got on the end of that list, uh, oh, the end of that row, sorry. I think it's going up. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's maybe any, anything else. I think um, that blue star looks great. And to be fair, we had some great, like, Andy Cole, Peter Beardsley. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great kit, that one. Um, I think it's. I think we've. I think. I mean, the possible ones. They're just. They're all the same. They're, they're all the same. They're all very same. Um, I think that's probably spot on. I don't think we're going to really achieve anything by moving anyone else. I mean, the elite ones speak for themselves. I knew as soon as we started doing this, that's what the three were going to be really. Yeah. As and, and there's arguments that you know, like the the, the final couple of Bramail and NTLs. I just. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're far better than the ones in the Rublo, but are they as good as the ones? You know, I think they're on the cusp, but I don't think they're quite there as, as uh, this little beauty. I fully agree. Still, yeah. uh, and of course, sitting next to you as well is the Awakening from that same season, 97, which mm. we'll come on to in another video coming very, very soon. Coming very soon. I mean, oh. it's, a, it's a shame that our new kit launch was obviously sparked this video as I ended up going rock bottom. <laughs> yes. Castro. Sort it out for next season, please. <laughs> sort it out because don't just if you're going to design a kit, make sure there's no just look at it. Just in. look at it. Just literally, just look at it. Yes, you're right. Like, <laughs> gonna put a granite collar in it with a white. You know, don't put the a white granite collar on a black stripe. If you're gonna have that, yes. Uh, look at the granite collar yeah. we had in '95 to seven. This one here, and it's on a white stripe, so it looks fine. Yeah, I'm sure they'll learn their mistakes. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. anyway, I think that sort of does wrap it up because we've got a, a lovely list there. If you do disagree, agree with us, let us know in the comments because we'd love to hear it. But that is our thoughts on it. As we've mentioned as well, we will be doing an away kit one coming very soon as well. So do look out for that. This this has been fantastic once again to get back on the opinion blog. And there's so much to come. This will. Uh, probably because well I don't know when I'm going to upload this but it'll be uploaded soon <laughs> uh, but yeah plenty to come with a new season coming soon loads of videos to come we've got lots in the, in the locker so do look out for us I hope that you can join us then so thank you all very much for watching Dylan thank you very much for joining me and you'll be joining me what? 
for the Away Kit video as well. Yep. But in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. And how are the lads?